We have come here today to celebrate the wedding of Amanda Mersch and John Henry. It's an extra special day today. We also get to celebrate the official unification of this whole Henry family with these boys. Today, John and Amanda demonstrate their devotion and respect to each other by dedicating themselves to a life together and by setting forth to honor the vows that they've created today. But we're gonna talk about barbecue for just a second. So, barbecues require good meat, they require good smoke from quality wood, they require good seasoning, expertise, and experience, and being a pit master is an art, and it's a science, and you have to have a passion to be good at it. And sometimes you think you've done everything right, and the dang meat still burns, or it's dried out, or whatever the case may be. I know I've done it too, it's very sad, it's very sad. Every single one of the greatest pit masters in the world will tell you that those mistakes were vital for them becoming the pitmaster that they became and it was vital to them figuring out the recipe that they needed to find for themselves. All the folks I know with the strongest marriages have all made a lot of mistakes and they brought too much spice and not enough sweet or they've turned the heat up too high or something like that but they've always kept their focus on each other and they've always kept their focus on their marriage and refining their craft. And sometimes the mixture of smoke and ingredients and rub and everything else is just wrong that day but they always know that they had good meat and good smoke and everything available. And so my first piece of advice to you guys is to think of each other as grade A meat. <laughs> yeah. Understand and expect that there are gonna be times that the ingredients are all wrong. And that's okay. And you'll just have to forgive yourself and each other for those times that the recipe is wrong, but that recipe will refine and the marriage will strengthen and you'll continue to keep faith and you'll end up with a secret recipe that you get to pass on to the boys um, so they can have healthy marriages and relationships by watching you guys do a great job at it as well. Today I promise you Today I promise you that though the world may change Though the world may change And though we may change with it And though we may change with it I will always love you I will always love you Always treasure you Always treasure you and will share all that I am with you. Share all that I am with you. I am proud from this day forward. Proud from this day forward. To be called your husband. Called your husband. To be called your wife. The love already shared by you both has been strengthened by the vows that you have now taken and the rings that you have now exchanged. And Mark 10 9 says, Therefore, what God has joined together today, let no one separate. By the power vested in me by God in the great state of Alabama, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.